Hey, welcome back to Woodruff Woods. Hey, today, it's just a terrible day outside. I was out hunting this morning for a little bit. It's rained off and on. We're due for a wind advisory uh, this evening. But while it was a little bit calm and the rain had stopped, I thought I'd bring the backhoe out here and dig out a couple of these stumps from those trees I fell in my uh, recent video where I did tandem falling, felling. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that work. It's been a little while since I ran the backhoe, so uh, we'll see if I'm still in practice. <music> Microphones. See if uh, see if I uh, have got them figured out at this point. I don't know if I do, but we are going to certainly try it. monkey vines. Let's see if we can sit that down over there. So uh, all this weather we've been having is really weird. Um, you know today's Saturday I think it's uh, December 11th if I'm not mistaken. And uh, don't know if you saw, but uh, some real bad weather there in uh, Kentucky overnight. Um, you know, many people affected by the uh, the tornadoes that went through. And uh, you know, just you know, it seems like when tornadoes go through, and they go through at night, it just seems that much worse. You know, people are sleeping; they don't get the they don't get the, the warnings fast enough, you know? And I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that much about Kentucky, but I wouldn't think that's a place that sees a lot of tornado action. But uh, again, I don't know. Uh, so I think I'm getting close to getting this stump out. It's not taking long at all. See, it's loose already, but uh, you know, if anybody uh, that watches my channels from Kentucky, I, I certainly hope you weren't affected. And if you, if you were, uh, I hope that no one in your family got hurt or anything like that. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know how I'd feel about living where there's a lot of tornadoes. They do, do a lot of damage. So. I see where it's holding up here. Might not be able to do this today. It's really muddy. Ah, there it is. I can see that root down in there. hope these microphones work out because uh, you know I watch uh, outdoors of the Morgans and I I really enjoy when Mike is doing something and he he's talking and, and sharing his thoughts on something um, you know I get the, the benefit of seeing the video and, and understand what he's doing sometimes he gets to talk about you know how he's going about something and I think that may add something um, be more than willing to hear what you think if uh, if this is something that you like or you know if you'd rather me just shut up and you know play music or something to show you what I'm up to uh, and I kind of like the the commentary not all the time but from time to time it's
I think I should be pretty close here. Let's see if we can. Let's see all that mud sticking in my bucket. I think I have another root over here that I need to, to get after. Yeah, feel it in there. Should have cut these a little higher knowing I was gonna dig them out, but you know, afterthought at this point. Let's see now, broke another root here, so hopeful there it comes. what this thumb uh, it's by B expanded or, yeah I think that's the name of the company um, you know, I don't use it a ton but boy is that handy you know I mean it's not handy like a excavator might be you know I mean with an excavator you know you can move your tracks while you're you're grabbing onto something which would make this even more useful but Boy, it just, I find, I find that I really, you know, especially stuff like this where you're grabbing at roots and stuff, you get it pinched in there and, and it just really helps out in doing it. So for you guys with the compact tractors, uh, and I think, I think these things are, I don't know, I think I paid like 350 bucks for it, but you know, I, I think I get my use out of it though, so. So I'll grade this up with the, the tractor bucket here a little bit better than what I'm doing here with this. But uh, I think we'll move on to the next one. Uh, seeing as that didn't take very long at all. Shut up and sit down.
Please sit down. Uh, something that you know I thought was really neat when we bought this property was the stone walls and uh, you can see this one's not in great shape but uh, you know this is kind of a, a neat thing in my opinion that you know throughout all of the the Northeast there's these walls that you know at one point they were probably uh, lines you know marked off property lines or or the edge of a field where you know, the farmers would take the, the rocks from the field and pile them up. And uh, I just think they add a lot of beauty. And you just, I don't know, I'm going to get a little sentimental here. But you just think that, hey, somebody put all these here, you know, and uh, probably 200 years ago. And uh, it's just kind of cool. And uh, I understand that typically these are edges of a field because um, they call these two-hander rocks. You can't pick them up with one hand, you can pick them up with two. So, uh, so that's my guess on that. Um, I'll actually take a little walk over here, show you some more. Uh, there's actually a better stone wall on the other edge of the property. So as you can see, this one's in much better shape. You can see the creeks on the other side. But, uh, you know, it's all laid in there nicely. You know, it's probably, it's about waist high. Um, you know, it'd probably be enough to keep some cattle in or, and actually, uh, this is kind of an interesting tree here. This is a shag bark hickory. But this, I'm quite sure is hop hornbeam. Otherwise known as ironwood. Um, but yeah, uh, just kind of a, Kind of a neat thing here. Uh, I've always thought that throughout Pennsylvania, and I know even up uh, like Connecticut, Massachusetts, uh, there's literally thousands of miles of these stone walls. And, and it's just kind of neat that, you know, someone took the time to put those little ones in there so this rock would lay flat on the top. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm goofy. It is kind of cool to me. So, uh, you know, I, I know out in the Midwest, you don't see that very often. Um, I think there are some out there. Uh, I think I've, I've seen some. But uh, here, here it's very common. And actually, sometime when I'm up at my parents' place, I will, uh, I'll do another video and, and show you some of those up there because they are, my parents have some gorgeous stone walls. I think that's probably enough for today. I've been, uh, I've been doing uh, some of the things I like to do. I love running a backhoe. I, I don't know why, I just do. And, uh, you know, I, it's a lot of fun to me. Uh, and uh, digging those stumps out, I was getting some work done and having a good time doing it. So anyway, that's all for today. Uh, you know, if you like what I put out there, please give me a like. Consider subscribing. I'd really like to have you as, uh, as a subscriber. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. There you have it, a garter snake in the middle of December. He's getting a little angry with me. But uh, I'll let him go. I don't really like snakes, but eh, he has a right to live. He's out here in the woods. It's his territory, not mine. <laughs>